Hey, Josh Valentine here. Welcome to another episode in Social Confidence for Life. This show is all about helping you to get on your own side more, to eradicate negative self-talk, and to see yourself in the best possible light so that you're able to live the most powerful, authentic, and bold life that you can. And today's topic is on overcoming your criticism of your body image. Come on, let's face it. We all feel that way in the mirror to some capacity. I don't know if there's anyone out there who's just like completely and radically, you know, on their own side when it comes to body image. And here's the thing, we can always make progress. So no matter how much you're criticizing your body image, no matter how much you just can't tolerate it, you're like, oh, it's so hideous, oh my gosh, there is a way out because all that is just energy. And the cool thing about life is that energy can be evolved If we have negative energy, we can evolve it to positive energy. We can let negative energy go as well. And so all it is is just negative self-talk. So if you can imagine someone calling someone ugly, like, oh, you're hideous, you're ugly, Uh, butt face, Uh," you know, back to like seventh grade or, I mean, seven years old. Hopefully by seventh grade, you're not doing ridiculous name calling like that. It's just, it's just negative energy. And we do that to ourselves, you know, as we look at ourselves in the mirror, you know, we're about to go shower or whatever. And we're just like, oh, that guy or that or that gal, you know, like, oh, blah, blah, day after day after day of this. This is my skin. Gross. And it's just it's just how we relate to ourselves. And if we're relating to ourselves negatively, well, we can snap that. Snap that in half, erase it, and then start to relate to ourselves in a positive light. I know for me, every time I'm in the restroom and there's a mirror, I start to look at myself and it's like I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm like hoping that I see something that, that gives me approval, like, yeah, that's a good looking dude right there. I, I feel good about life. You know, it's, it's, it's like that, that subtle energy of, oh no, I don't know. I don't know if everything's okay. I guess, you know, the reflection will tell me, will give me the answer, will give me the love that I want in this world. And when we come from that place, that's just anxious energy because no matter what you see looking back at you, you carry that negative energy to, with you to the next setting in, in your day. And it's just it's just always like hoping, this this energy of hoping that your body image is, is like the, it fills the void in your life. You know, like if you're looking for just like empowerment, uh, just a reason to, to love and accept yourself and, and, and see yourself as an awesome person, if you're always like hoping, oh, I, I hope this is the answer when I look in the mirror, then we're anxious. And when we're anxious, we carry that, that draining energy everywhere that we go and it doesn't feel good. And it's a toxic relationship we have with ourselves. So we want to flip the script. We don't want to come from a place of hoping hoping that, that we can you know, approve of ourselves because we like the way we look. Instead, we want to come from a place of empowerment like, hey, I'm an incredible being. I have many talents, skills. I love who I am. I'm okay as I am. I am completely comfortable in my own skin. Therefore, I don't, I don't really care what that image, what that person looking back at me in the mirror looks like. I'm cool. I'm awesome just the way I am. And here's the thing. This is psychology. It's not every feeling that we want, this feeling of happiness and love and acceptance, it all comes from within. And it's, this is so true. And I know it, it might sound crazy, you know, because growing up, you know, we, we see all these, these models and, you know, advertisements like, you have to look like this. You gotta have a six pack. You gotta be thin. You gotta be fit. That is the key to success and happiness. And no, here's the thing. What is happiness? I mean, that could be a pretty deep question and uh, we could probably spend years and, and still not really capture fully what happiness truly is. But in its most basic form, happiness is a positive feeling. Feeling, where does that come from? It comes from inside. It doesn't, it's not like, it comes from like this external appearance. Like, you know, if you look at yourself in the mirror and you see this like dashingly, strikingly handsome person or beautiful woman that, you know, you all, automatically it just like puts that, that feeling inside of you, look, it's external. And yeah, you know, external pleasant images obviously can stir up certain feelings in your body, like, yeah, that is attractive. But as long as happiness is something that, that comes from within, that means that you can, you can work on your inner game and increase your happiness. So instead of 
using your image as a reason to feel good about yourself, just just attack it from from the from the root, from the source. You know, if you if you don't like the way you look, get inside your feelings, work on your psychology, flip the script, and and commit to being on your side no matter what. You know, accepting just the way you look, and yes, that is easier said than done. And so that is why we are going to help you work on radically accepting who you are, letting go of criticizing your body image, because my goodness, that is draining. We carry that with us everywhere we go, you know, social settings, if we're secretly judging ourselves, like, oh, I don't look good, I don't like the way I look, then how likely are you to put yourself out there in groups of people and, and communication and, and conversations? So let's get rid of that now. All right, let's cut to the chase. So the way you're going to address your criticism of your body image is by way of meditation in the mirror. So take it to the place where you do all the negative judging, like I don't like the way I look, I'm hideous, I can't go out in public like this, I need to hide, I'm so ashamed of myself, how dare I look like this, I'm, I'm so below average. Ugh. Just take it to the place where you do the criticism. So the way this works is you're going to meditate in the mirror. You meditate by looking at yourself and then letting all criticism arise. So maybe it's, ugh, those eyes, ugh, that nose, or ugh, my mouth is slightly like, you know, not even, or it's a crooked. In fact, I think my, I think my mouth actually is like a little bit, you know, like not perfectly even or whatever, it's like slightly crooked. I've had people point that out before. So notice all flaws like in your facial feature, like, oh, my ears are too big, or oh, my eyes are like, I don't know, like too far apart or something, or too close, or my eyebrows, ugh, gross, or, Oh no, those wrinkles I'm starting to get in my forehead. Or, oh no, I got grayness in my hair. Ugh. And then like, you know, like, and then like, kind of like step back as well, you know, and just look at your body as well. Like, you know, ugh, I'm too skinny. Or, oh, my stomach, you know, too much, too much fat in there or whatever. Or like, I'm not muscular enough. I'm not fit enough, you know, whatever it is. Point it out. The way out is through. When it goes, when it, that's why meditation is so powerful, because it helps you to take the the steps to go through the fears, that negative energy. In order to let go of criticism, we have to to embrace it. We gotta surrender to it. We gotta love it. And when I say love it, I don't mean like, you know, like use it as an excuse for a poor lifestyle and like I, I love fat. I'm just gonna gorge myself and all this unhealthy food. Yeah, get fat. Mm. In fact, fatness back in the day used to be a symbol of wealth and, and power and status. That's what I'm going for. I'm not, I'm not saying use that. That's not what I mean by loving it. What I mean by loving it is, is stop relating, it to, relating to it in a negative light. You know, ideally, we, if we want to be kind to people around us and, you know, there's someone out there that has like a poor lifestyle, you know, you're going to go up to that person and be like, what a fatty, you fatty, fat, fat, fatty, freaking fatty, you know, <laughs> I'm like struggling to come up with a fat name calling, <laughs> but no, like what kind of person are you if you just walk up to someone that is a little heavier than others and you just call that person fat, you know, and so relate to yourself in the same way, you know, or don't, don't relate to yourself in the same way, you know, it's, it's the same concept. Don't be like judging yourself or for like not liking yourself. You can let that negative energy go. And that's the point of loving and accepting who you are. It's just a way of relating to yourself. You wanna be as positive as you can. In fact, you wanna treat it like you're a coach, like you're coaching yourself to live the best life that you can. You know, if you're constantly degrading yourself, like you suck, you're so ugly, so hideous, you should just never go out and talk to people. You know, you're a disgrace to society, all these, you know, like there's like the ideal human being for your gender or whatever, and uh, you're not even close to it, so you suck. You know, it's, it's about like coaching yourself, like look, yeah, I mean, there's my body, here I am. That's the way I look right now. And <sighs> I love who I am. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna degrade myself. I'm not gonna make myself feel bad. You know, I'm, I'm okay as I am. In fact, I have so much value I can bring to the world. You know, body image, that's just the, the tip of the iceberg of, of who I am. You know, I have so much more value to offer. I, I can help people in this way. You know, I'm talented, here are my strengths. You know, I'm so much more than the way I look. And I refuse to degrade myself for the way I look. And, and this is a relationship you can have with yourself. You want to be a, 
an optimal coach to yourself. You want to see yourself in this light. And when you do, man, you unlock so much freedom in yourself to just express yourself, to, to, to jump in, chime in in any conversation, because you're not like afraid of how people might view your appearance. Because when we're coming from that place, we want to hide, we want to run away. And we just, it's such a, such a sorrowful, such a toxic lifestyle. And we don't need to be like that. So spend as long as you want, you know, every morning when you wake up and, and you, you know, you go shower and, and, and there you are, and you're, you're looking at yourself in the mirror, remind yourself that you're an incredible being. You're so much more than your body image. And then let all that criticism come up. And what you can do is you can start to point it out like, oh, judging my eyes or oh, judging my, 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 my thinness or, you know, my, my, my lack of thinness or, you know, judging my, my body structure. Oh, okay. You know, if you're a woman, oh, judging myself for not being curvy enough. Oh, okay. You know, and then, you know, for men, oh, judging myself for not being muscular enough. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. You know, you just want to like, like put focus and attention on it. Start to just detach those criticism, make it, you see it in a third person's view. Oh, okay. Judging myself again, huh? For the way I look. All right. Yeah. I'm okay as I am. And remind yourself, you're okay as you are. I'm okay in my own skin. This is the way I look. I like who I am. Now, what I want to emphasize is that I've already hinted on it. This isn't an excuse to, you know, to con condone poor life lifestyle choices, you know. Uh, part of this whole show is about helping you to elevate your level of love and, and taking care of yourself, really being on your own side. So obviously if like eating tons and tons of ice cream or, you know, a bunch of burgers and, you know, fatty foods doesn't feel good, that's not what the show is about. It's, it's not an excuse to, to eat all the junk food that you want in the world, you know, hey, as long as I love my body, you know, this is what I want to be in the world. You know, no, there's, there's, you know, there's two ways to look at this. Yeah, no matter what you do to your body, you can come from a place of I love it no matter what. But here's the thing, you want to make choices that also optimize your experience in life. And so while you relate to yourself in a positive light for, for how you look, also want to do what you can to feel healthy, you know, and Truth be told, we got to get it together because if we want to stop criticizing our body image, something else that's going to help is to start to get in better shape as well. You know, there, there's there's two ways to look at this. You know, some people can can spend so much time in the gym, like they live in the gym. And here's the thing: when they come from anxiety and criticism of their body image, no matter how well they look, you know, like like there could be a person that's like just like obese and clearly not up to societal standards when it comes to like body image and there could be someone else who's just like ripped and jerked or whatever and uh, the person that's by societal standards is more attractive physically could actually relate to himself or herself worse off than the person that's that's lower in physical attraction all because of of anxiety you know, lack of confidence, lack of radical acceptance, lack of love and embracement of oneself. And so that's what we're referring to. And, we, and here's the thing, we want to get the best of both worlds. Because of course, when you take care of your body, you feel better, first of all. You like the way you look better. So mesh that with meditation where you let go of treating yourself poorly. You know, you want to work on both. And so when it comes to anxiety, you want to let it go. But you also don't want to use... <laughs> being okay with the way you look as an excuse to, to condone poor life choices. You want to do the, get the best of both worlds. Work on improving your health and then work on letting go of negative criticism. So in closing, every time you see yourself before a mirror, you know, maybe it's in the restroom, maybe it's, you know, you know during when you're showering, you know, when you're in a store, when you're taking a selfie, when you see yourself in pictures, remind yourself, you know, you're an incredible being. You're, you're not just your body image. You know, who cares? Who cares if you, you know, made an ugly face or whatever, you know? In fact, a lot of my pictures growing up, they look terrible. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm just not photogenic or whatever. But here's the thing, you know, I used to let that bother me. But do you really want to spend your life always criticizing yourself? Like, oh, how exhausting and, and, and unmeaningful that is. Like, where is that getting you? Is that serving you? Is that serving anyone around you? To constantly, like, have a toxic relationship with your body image? Blah. 
just let it go. You can let it go now. You know, commit to, to just seeing yourself for your, the value you bring to the world. And if you really, and if you even, and even if you don't think you, you come from a, a place of being able to offer much to the world, like, like, ugh, I don't even like who I am on the inside, you know, not to mention the outside, but even worse, I don't even like who I am on the inside. Well, remember, best of both worlds, let go, relate to yourself better, and then two, get it together. Well, do what you need to do so that you like who, who you are on the inside. You know, find, find someone you can help. Find what your, your mission and purpose in life is. Who do you want to help? You know, what problems do you want to solve in the world? What kind of results do you want to bring to people's life? How can you enrich the people around you? you know, could you get to know them a little bit better and help them to feel like, so, like, you, like someone cares about them? Can you put more focus and curiosity on people so they feel better? Can you bring a little bit more humor into people's lives? Can you, can you be a little bit more serving of others? You know, like, can you, can you become a friend with someone who, who really needs a friend? Can you mentor and, and coach somebody in, in whatever problems they're dealing with? And so, best of both worlds, that's kind of becoming a theme. You know, if you don't like who you are, get it together, first of all. Find ways to improve yourself with self-development. And then two, let go of that toxic relationship with yourself because it's just energy. Where there's energy, you can redirect it. You can change, change its course. You can relate to yourself in a better way. All right, your action step is to meditate in the mirror every morning for at least three minutes, five minutes. You know, when you're going in there to shower and just remind yourself that you're okay as you are. You radically accept your body image. You recognize that this is where you are. And if you don't like the way you look, you don't have to hurt yourself for the way you look. In fact, you can also work on fitness and changing the way your body looks over time. But no matter what, at the end of the day, you don't have to treat yourself poorly for the way you look. And when it happens, as you're meditating, just bring it up and call, call it out. Like, ah, there I am, sneaky, sneaky. There I am judging my nose again or my hair. Judging the way my body looks again. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't want to do that. It's not helpful. It's not serving me. And then really like dig deeper. You know, like feel the energy behind that criticism. Feel that energy in your body because ultimately it's just it's that energy that 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 we don't like. It's that energy that's like attacking us. Find that that hatred in your body, that, that energy that's hating the way you look, hating on you. Feel into it, embrace it, surrender okay. I'm okay as I am. I love who I am. And then also remember your, your worth, your value does not stop at the way you look clearly, but we all need that reminder. You are so much more than the way you look. So awesome. Apply this in your life. And until we speak again, you were born to be real, not to be perfect. So go out there and be who you are. I'll talk to you soon.